Hi, this is Jason Fowler with the Slap Save Pinball Podcast stream and the podcast. And I wanted to just give you guys a brief rundown of our stream and how it works, just in case there's somebody out there that might be interested in streaming or there might be someone who's just curious. I know a lot of people ask, I've seen it before, so I thought I would take a couple minutes to do it. This right here is the table where we all sit, the Logitech camera that uh, sits there, uh, grabs the photo or the video of this table. Uh, the stream is all set up and ready to go. I usually start about three or four hours ahead of time. Uh, that timer is only on the hour, so we've got a lot more time than that. You'll notice I have some signs here, one that kind of reminds the guys that have a tendency to forget to talk into the microphones. It's just a friendly reminder. And then a uh, reminder for myself to run a promo video that we uh, try to do. So this is Slobs or Streamlabs OBS. That is the software that we use. I'm on the starting screen already. Um, we've got, these are all dynamic microphones that plug into the Mackie Pro FX12. It is a mixer that sends, it grabs the audio from all of the microphones. We have six of them. And then um, it allows me to independently adjust levels easily and stuff like that. So we've got this television that's mounted on a stand that we can see the chat that's going on. Uh, then if you come around, that is the poor man's green screen. That is just a, some material purchased at uh, Joann's Fabrics, I believe. Uh, one of those fabric stores just mounted on a T-bar that I used to use for uh, streaming with the old setup. Then we have an 80-20 custom rig that is made by, well, it's made based on the specs of Carl D'Angelo. And uh, to that, we have actually added some bracing at the top to make it a little more sturdy. If you aren't going to mount a monitor on the side, it's plenty sturdy as is, but after we added the monitor that displays the information for the player, including a copy of the stream and the uh, chat that sits on that right-hand side once we go live with the main scene, uh, it, it was starting to get a little wonky. So we have the back glass out, or I'm sorry, no, it is in, but we have the wire coming out of the side that is connected for the direct feed to the back box. So that does not display to the player. It only shows up on the stream. That piece of black plastic is basically covering the P3 logo, which uh, was reflecting on the glass. There is constant little tweaks you have to do in streaming. And uh, you can actually see me in the camera there. This is the player cam. This is a cardoid power supply. I think it's 48 volt, is that right? I don't know the voltage, whatever it is, 12 volt, 48 would kill you probably. Yeah, 12 volt. Anyway, that supplies power to this microphone. Now, cardoid mics are a lot more sensitive, and that's why we have this one here, because it's impossible to get the guys to remember to adjust the microphone, and it wasn't picking up with a dynamic. We have it on an arm that connects. At the top, we have a camcorder that grabs the play field, and then we have the uh, microphone there is on a boom. That's a dynamic mic that is picking up the sound from the game. Uh, what else is there? We've got the Playfield camera that's mounted on a suction cup mount. Had to find, go through several before we settled on this one because it actually pit, puts it in a place that makes sense. Underneath is our custom built streaming rig that Matt and I built specifically for streaming. It's got about 2 million USB ports. Um, I'm exaggerating obviously, but the more USB ports you have, high speed USB ports, at least 3.0. 3.1 is helpful now, that's uh, even faster, but you have to have a lot of high speed USB ports. Then that is a uh, remote battery pack that powers the camcorders. Those are all uh, either that one's plugged into a wall and then you'll see this like massive wires. Those are lights. Uh, the TV plug that's connected to HDMI to a splitter that goes to the uh, monitor that is displayed for the players. 
Uh, we've got LED lights on stands. Those are purchased through Amazon, relatively inexpensive. These two light the play field. This one over here that you're looking at now uh, lights the player. Without that, they're way too dark. So I just wanted to show it's, it's a lot of work setting it up. Uh, there, that white cable over there is a hardwired Cat5 cable that I have going to a port that I have downstairs. But yeah, you've got just a mess of wires and um, the actual stream itself is a blast, but it takes some work to set up. But if you are interested in getting into it and you ever have questions, if it's something I can help with, uh, Streaming Labs has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get there, it's a lot of fun. So I just wanted to do that. I hope it's uh, interesting for some of you and uh, we will uh, hopefully see you when we stream and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Take care.